Time to liven up the joint! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are unboxing some of the new DC Multiverse figures. <clears throat> now, I haven't bought some of them in a while. And there's a reason for that. It's because nothing has really been catching my eye from DC Multiverse, which is absolutely crazy. Um, last year, the last two previous years, God tier. Now, this year... Um, there hasn't really been anything like been blowing my mind. So I have been skipping on a lot of stuff. A lot of it's been a lot of reuse or these little projects that he's doing, like these, these Jokerized action figures. I'm just not a huge fan of. So I just decided to skip out on most of them. But the biggest thing that's been catching myself as well as other collectors' eyes is the Batman animated series stuff. Which is my one of my favorite cartoons growing up as a kid. Absolutely freaking love the Batman animated series. And here is uh, one of them. And that is Mr. Freeze. Now you guys know for years I was asking for Mr. Freeze figures. And uh, we definitely got a lot. I still think the Mesco uh, Injustice Mr. Freeze is still one of the best Mr. Freeze is out there, but this is just my childhood right here. This Justice Mr. Freeze as well. Now he does come with, there are four different action figures, including a motorcycle, which makes five figures in this wave. We are going to be unboxing Mr. Freeze as well as his counterpart, um, which is Scarecrow. Scarecrow was an absolute freaking must. I, I really needed this figure. I love the classic Scarecrow. You know, even though, like, the Arkham City, Arkham Knights, Scarecrow was really, really great. I loved the, his design. This is just, like, classic Scarecrow, um, and I freaking love his design. So, super, super cool. I love the box art as well. Um... And uh, the only figures, now I do have Batman on the way, as and the only one that has yet to ship is a Robin. I've been trying to find him in stores, still haven't been able to track him down. So there's that. And then um, I decided to go ahead and pick up one of the few action figures um, that I really wanted, and that was the Anti-Monitor. I had him on my wish list videos. I think like two years ago, um, or honorable mentions. I don't remember if he actually made the list or not, but the anti-monitor um, was an absolute freaking must. I could have had him a while back, uh, but I saw him in stores and I was like, dude, I need to pick him up. Because I look at this box art and it's like, come on. It's like he's fighting the whole Justice League. Like, and he's taking them on. He's just eating their their their, their attacks. I mean, that is is more than the Justice League. It's like every, almost not every, but majority of superheroes, uh, you could think of in this, um, in this bo uh, box. So I'm gonna do my best not to destroy this box, because uh, that's a cool box art. Love that on the box art as well. Um, now I did just go in ahead. The only Marvel Legends. I haven't bought a Marvel Legends in a long, a really long time. You guys been following the channel. Um, but I had to pick this one up because this is the X-Men 97 from the uh, X-Men animated series cartoon. And this was a absolute must. I did see Magneto in stores, but I didn't really like his design. He's too fam similar to other Magneto. So I was like, even though Wolverine, I mean, how many Wolverines, yellow and blues do you really need? Um, but this, for me, was a must. I mean, I just love the unmasked head of him. I have too many masked head uh, Wolverines. The, the head on here just looks absolutely freaking amazing. And plus, this is the 97 run. Uh, I did have um, Gambit and Bishop on pre-order. Um, I canceled them for some reason. I, I just, I don't know. I just like, I don't know how to say it. I just looked at it. I was like, do I really want them? You know, so I ended up canceling both of them. <clears throat> Because Gambit's, like, I already have the Gambit. Plus, I think Mesco made the perfect Gambit. Um, and Bishop as well. So, I was like, do I really want to get him? And then I realized, I was like, you know, this is the 97 comic run. So, I decided to pick him up. Um, we could show him off first. So this is what we'll do. We'll do the 
uh, Wolverine first, then the Anti-Monitor, then Scarecrow, and then, no, then Mr. Freeze, and then the Scarecrow, so sounds like a plan let's go ahead and get straight into this boxing but before we get to this unboxing i want to see if you guys can leave a like on this video as well as subscribe if you guys haven't already we're well on our way to 400 subscribers we're not that far off but i need you guys to help me get there as well um you know if we get to 500 i gotta do a huge giveaway it's got to be one of the biggest giveaways I've ever done on the channel so i gotta think of something um uh, so if you guys want want any of that Please hit that subscribe button as well. And don't forget that bell so you don't miss another unboxing just like this one. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. Because we got a lot of figures to unbox on the channel. Okay, so when you take Wolverine out of packaging, this is what he looks like. I got to say, I really love this Wolverine. I think he looks so sick. The only downfall is he is really short. You know, like it's really hard to show him off on camera because he's just so short. So I got to levitate him just a little bit. I mean, I could lower down my camera, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, I could hold them up just for a little bit. Um, but anyways, though, here is the metal claws looking pretty good as well. Um, I love the arms on here as well. He's kind of buff. Really love a buff Wolverine. I think he looks super sick. And then obviously with the yellow and blue with the black stripes on there. Looking so good. You got the X-Men belt with the underwear, the yellow tights, the black and blue boots. So super, super good. And then look at his head. Look at his head scalp. It's just so freaking good. Absolutely freaking love it. Love the hair. Always love like the slip back hair on Wolverine as well. Like, oh my God, he's so freaking sick. Such a badass character as well. Now let's go ahead and put on this little um, unmasked thing to show off. Like if you want to use this one, but you want to also show off that he had his mask on, we could show that off as well as the mask version so let's go and show that off right now okay guys so this is how he looks with the unmasking so that that's actually pretty cool as well i like that they add these to these action figures just a little cool little added touch make it seem like he was you know he had his mask on so there's that uh as far as the masking i don't know if i'm going to use it uh i mean it doesn't really hurt it for not using it i just don't like this yellow strap going over his neck um kind of looks like a, a turtleneck so i really don't like these uh I, I really don't use them not that i don't like them i really don't use them but anyways let's go ahead and show off the mass version as well and then we'll show off um anti-monitor next so let's go ahead and do that Okay, guys, so this is how Wolverine looks with the mask on, and I love the mask. Uh, I think it's so freaking good as well. Now, I normally um, use the mask when I, I use my uh, action figures, especially Wolverines, but um, I'm not going to use this because I just want the unmasked version. Also, there's a little bit of QC issues on the chin, a little bit of black paint on there, so that's uh, really unfortunate. Um, that's the problem with buying online is that you don't really see if they have any QC issues. You can return it, but that is, um, I mean, to me, to some people it might be major, for, but for me, it's kind of minor because I am not using this version, but it would have been nice to not have that on there as well. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, this is how he looks with the mask and I think the mask looks so freaking good as well. But like I said, I have so many of these, um, so many figures with the mask on so now let's go ahead and show off the anti-monitor and go into dc baby okay guys so when you take the anti-monitor out of packaging this is what he looks like and i think he looks badass but you know even for you people out there who just collect x-men and really like that x-men figure i just showed off you could buy this and then paint it or even just rock it and just pretend like he's a um, juggernaut as well but um yeah, the anti-monitor looks so freaking cool. Now, this is a classic version of the anti-monitor. Um, but love, love the style. The eyes look so good. Um, I wish, you know, McFarlane does, like, effects in the in the future. Kind of like a NECA. Like, if NECA wants to do this, they'll give us, like, a eye blast or something. Or even, like, a Mafex or Mezcal. They'll give us an eye effect or something to make it look like eye, like blasts are coming out of his eyes. Uh, but this is a cheaper version of these type of figures. So 
it is what it is. But he, you know, he has his classic yellows with his tubes or whatever with the gray armor on the inside, the legs um, as well. And then here is the back of it, double jointed up. So that's actually pretty good, bendable or whatever. Here is the back. And then, you know, he has his egg head is what I like to call him. Is an egg, egghead boy. Anyways, though, he looks super good. Uh, the teeth as well. I love the, the blackness on the inside as well. It just adds it to the figure. You know, he has these gripping claw hands as well. So that's actually pretty good. I would prefer a closed fist on one of them. But it is what it is. I'll be fine with these just not so much. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it when it comes down to the anti monitor. Now let's go ahead and get into the animated series action figure so let's go ahead and do that okay guys so when you take out mr freeze out of packaging this is what he looks like and i gotta say i really like this figure immediately right off the bat now articulation is definitely is it the best when it comes down to it um here is the back of the figure and it's pretty hard because you know he has the tube the tube does come off though so if you want to mess around with him as well also it's really light complexus it's really hard to show off the mouth as well but i guess that's the best we can get it right now um and then going down to the bottom you know he has this classic design this ain't the super mr freeze that we know and love from the arkham games um as well he has this classic purple boots as well the uh i don't know what you call that i guess the gauntlets or whatever this is his leg gauntlets um, or these tubes, I guess they're tubes, I, I'm not really sure what you call them, and then here on the waist, you know, got his, I guess his, uh, I don't even know what you call that either, <laughs> but anyways, down here, it, it is, it's most of them, but mostly it's really the eyes and the goggles, uh, the big nose on him as well, the deformity on the head, so there is pretty much that as well. Okay, guys, so here's Mr. Freeze with his gun. It's not really anything too crazy. It's just a pretty generic design, but super cool that he comes with his gun as well. And here is the tube on the back as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes down to Mr. Freeze. He does have these four different hands um, or two sets of four different hands. So there is that as well. And then, um, Mr. Freeze does come with Condiment Kings. I should have mentioned that earlier. Um, he is a builder figure for Condiment King. Um, now, when I first, when they first announced these figures, I thought Condiment King was going to come on his own. But apparently, he is part of the builder figure um, as well. So, um, you know, he just comes with Condiment King's backpack, which is... Super, super cool. So, let's go ahead and show it off. He does come with Conor McKee's backpack as well as his his guns. You know, he has this, I guess, his ketchup and mustard guns right here, um, which are attached to the backpack. So, here is the ketchup gun. And, you know, I mean, he would have been called Conor McKee if he didn't have any um different type of weapons but um you know here's his monster gun which is super cool i'm super happy that they made a making a build a figure for condom king would i prefer him in his own different um you know action figure instead of a build a figure absolutely but it is what it is but here is the backpack so there's that um now now the scarecrow comes with the head so we can show off the head piece as well but like i said batman and robin i think will um come with the rest of the figure so we'll show that off in most likely a future video as well but let's go ahead and show off the last and final figure of this unboxing which is scarecrow okay guys so here is scarecrow one of my top five favorite rogue gallery batman uh villains he's definitely uh top five for sure um, because he is just one of the most freakish, um, su unsupernatural, villainy type villains you could think of. He is just 
absolutely freaking crazy. Doesn't stop at nothing. He he is um really brutal when it comes down to killing. Um he doesn't care who it is, basically. Um and he's just absolutely terrifying. Like if you was to see this guy walking down the street in a dark alley, you would probably just die of a heart attack just right there. But absolutely freaking terrifying as well. Plus I always love like his classic design. So that's why this was a must. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, I need this figure. But anyways, though, you know, he has the brown shirt with the yellow um, waist as well. The yellow hands going down to the really skinny legs. You know, he has the chicken legs with the small feet as well. There's that. He does have an open hand to grip, obviously, the, the seat uh, or the scythe that he comes with. As well as a closed fist. So that's actually pretty good. You can use a closed fist. He does have open hands. As well as another head sculpt. So let's go ahead and show off. Obviously this is the classic head sculpt. I love this one because. You know he has the teeth. The red eyes. Absolutely villainous. Terrifying. He has the top hat. With the, the top part. As well. So love that. That's why I love this figure, the white hair. But he does I have a normal head, so we could show that off as well. Um, as well as the other gripping claw hands. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, so here's how Scarecrow looks without the mask on, basically, as well as the sheep. But honestly, I'm not really the hugest fan of the unmasked head. Also, the neck looks super long. I'm not sure if... I mean, I put it as deep as it can go, but the neck is still pretty long. It's supposed to look really funky because it is a um, you know animated series figure, so it doesn't. It's not really gonna be the best, but you know it does look pretty good. So if you want to go with just this head, which you don't really see this head too often when it comes down to Scarecrow and Jonathan Crane, but it is what it is. Um, and then here is the scythe as well. So the scythe, it has this extra like piece right there. I don't know what that is for, but it is what it is. I probably, no, it doesn't attach onto the back. But anyways, here is the scythe and just a normal one. And I'm not anything too freaking crazy, um, but it is what it is. Um, now let's go ahead and show off Condiment King and then we'll wrap this bad boy up. Okay, so when I meant show off Condom I mean show off what we got for the pieces so far. So obviously this is how he would look if he had the top torso with just the backpack so far. Obviously we can't show off anything else because we don't have the other figure just yet. Stay tuned because there is a definitely a part two uh, coming soon of this. So we're definitely going to finish them up. We just got to wait for it. Uh, those figures to come in where they should be coming in by the beginning of the week so stay tuned for that that's definitely going to be the next unboxing as well as another unboxing we're going to do which i can't wait to get into that one as well um and then towards the end of the month we got some sh figure arts on the way so hopefully those come in pretty soon but but it has the big c for condiment king um so super super cool but right, let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up okay guys this is pretty much it this is all i got for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys didn't enjoy this please consider liking subscribing help the channel out dramatically keeps me motivated keep doing more unboxings just like this one so hope you guys enjoyed this we definitely got part two on the way so stay tuned you want to hit that bell so you don't miss part two's unboxing but anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. You guys have a wonderful, amazing day. And see you guys later. They don't call me the main man for nothing.